Hey guys, today we're going to make this really cute ruffle cuff. You can add two, three, or as many ruffles as you want. I just did two. And it can be really cute, the boot cuff. What you're going to need is two sets of double pointed knitting needles. You're going to need a set of 3.75 millimeter and a set of 4.0 millimeter for each. You're also going to need some DK yarn and you're going to need, let me see here, to make two cuffs, 240 yards. So it takes one skein to make one cuff. I had this much left over. So if you want three ruffles, you're gonna need one skein exactly. And if you just wanna do two ruffles on the large size, you'll have some left over. Now there's a full PDF pattern for download. It's free on Ravelry that has the written instructions and this is a video tutorial to go with that. So let's get started making the cuff. All right guys, I already made a large version, so this time I'm going to make the medium version. And so what you're going to do is, you're going to cast on 52 stitches, and you need to use a stretchy cast on. So you're going to be using your 3.75 millimeter knitting needles. And I'm using the crochet cast on, but you can also use the long tail cast on. To make sure it stretches because we're making this from the top down. So I'm casting on this edge right here. And you want your top edge to be stretchy. So just go ahead and cast on 52 stitches and divide them up onto three 3.75 millimeter knitting needles and then we'll use the fourth as a working needle. All right, so now I have 52 stitches on here and we're gonna join in the round. The first thing you wanna do is make sure your stitches are not twisted. Then I'm going to cast on one extra stitch because the way I join in the round it makes a stitch disappear and then what I'm going to do is take this very last stitch right here slide it onto Take the very first stitch, slide it onto the to the last needle, and slide the last stitch over and off the needle. And then I slide this back on. Now I can pull on these to cinch it up to make it nice and tight. Alright, and now I'm going to knit two, purl two. All the way around. So knit two. Purl two, and just repeat this all the way around. All right, so now I have knit two, purl two, all the way around for one round, and I'm going to repeat this round two more times. So I'm going to knit two, purl two, all the way around two more times. All right, so now we're going to start our first ruffle. So you're going to need a yarn needle, with a piece of scrap yarn. I like to use worsted weight yarn for my scrap yarn so that the stitches are easier to see, to pick up, and I double it. So, double. You're going to hold this together with your needle in your right hand. And now we're going to knit two, purl two around using the needle. So you want to slide both your needle and your yarn through, yarn over, and knit with it. So you want the waist yarn to go over your needle and your knitting needle. When you get enough, you're just gonna slide it down and it will slide the waist yarn onto there.
This is the most tedious part of it, I do believe. Because it's, if you know a better way to get scrap yarn on stitches, then by all means, use that way. If you're a very skilled knitter, you may not even need this scrap yarn. We're just going to be picking up this row of stitches to continue on with the cuff after we add our first ruffle. So you're going to knit two, purl two around, and on this row it should have a piece of scrap yarn through the entire row. Alright, so here's what it looks like with the string added. As you can see, it's strung through each stitch. Now we're going to tie it in a knot. Tie a knot so we don't lose any stitches. All right, so for our first ruffle row, we're going to switch to a 4.0 knitting needle. And you're going to knit one front back for all stitches. And just ignore the purple yarn. And just knit one front back all the way around. All right, so now I've knit one front back all the way around doubling my stitches. And now all we're going to do is knit three rows. So you're going to knit all the stitches, still using that 4.0 millimeter knitting needle. The first row is a little hard because you've increased exponentially all the stitches. So knit all the stitches for three rows. Alright, so I've done all the just knit rounds and now I'm going to do just a round of purl. So you want to purl each stitch all the way around. Mommy? Mommy? All right, so I've just finished my one row of purl, and now all we're going to do is bind off. And just going to bind off the knit way. So it's just a regular bind off. Knit one stitch, knit the second stitch, slip the first stitch over, and then you just repeat that. Knit one, slip one, knit one, slip one, all the way around. When you get to the last stitch, just cut your yarn, yarn over, and pull that through all the way, and then you'll just weave this in together. All right, now comes the hard part of the pattern. You want to go back and pick up all the stitches that this purple string goes through. So untie the purple string and just starting from whatever side you want, just go through and pick up all the stitches. All right, so I picked up all the stitches and I removed my scrap yarn. So you want it to look like this when you start. So you fold the right sides of the piece together. And then first knit row after you pick up the stitches is always the hardest. Okay. 
but you're going to knit four rounds. So this will be round run, and then you're going to knit three more rounds after this. All right, so now we're going to add the yarn back to the next knit row. So we're going to do one more knit row for a total of five yards and add that scrap yarn back. And then I'm going to pull this through. So add the scrap yarn back on. Once you get that last knit row finished and the purple line attached, tie a knot in it so you don't lose any stitches. And then we're going to repeat the ruffle rows one more time. So you're going to change to 4.0 millimeter needles. Knit one front back around, knit three rows, purl one row, and then bind off knitwise. And that's going to be your second ruffle, and I'll meet you back after you guys do that. All right, so the second ruffle is knit and bound off. And now I'm going to go back inside here and pick up all the stitches again. All right, and make sure you fold the right sides together so before you start knitting to make sure that it's gonna be correct. And then I'm going to knit 12 rows, rounds because you're going to be knitting the body parts. You're going to knit 12 rounds. The first round, remember, is pretty hard after you have picked up stitches. But just go ahead and knit 12 rounds. You can also add a third or fourth ruffle. If you want instructions on how to do that, you can check out the PDF, but you would just do another repeat of the ruffle part. All right, guys, so now I have knit 12 rounds, and now I'm simply going to knit two, purl two, for two inches. All right, guys, so when you are done finishing and you bound off and weaved in all your ends, you're going to need to block these. So what you're going to do is get it wet. And then you're going to pin one side down, just the, the um, ruffles down, and then you'll flip it over, and you'll pin the other ruffles down, and then you'll pin it to whatever it is you're blocking it on. All right, so here's one side pinned down, and now I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to make sure that it's flat on this side. And then I'm going to pin this side down and this top piece right here. All right, so now I have the whole thing pinned, all the ruffles, all the way around. And then you just, I think you can just lay it out flat to dry. For this one, when I pinned all the ruffles down, I did pin it to the cloth, but I think it'd be fine if you just laid it out. So I'm just gonna lay mine out to dry. And that should make the ruffles all nice and ruffly and fun. So you want it to look like this when you start knitting, not like this. Because you want to make sure everything's on the right side. Right side. That's the right side. <laughs>